This beautiful cat, its name is Taz. And Taz was at home and he was squatting in the litter box and squatting in the litter box and he would get out and he would lick himself and and what we found oh look at him. He's still he just he just really a nice kitty. But um, and I felt him, I felt his bladder and it's very big. And I'll show you what we do when we check that out. But um, Taz actually has a, a partial blockage. He can get some urine out of his penis, some urine will flow, but his bladder is very big and he's what we call a blocked cat. His uh, little tiny urethra and his penis is filled with crystals and so it's just like a, uh, his little urethra, his pipes are plugged. And we have to give him some anesthetic and we have to unplug that, that the end of his urethra with a catheter and then sew it in so the urine continues to flow out then we're going to give him some um, antibiotics and also some fluids under the skin to keep him hydrated. Taz already, already just whenever we have a blocked kidney we want to see how his kidneys are doing so I did take some blood tests and his kidney enzymes, his BUN and creatinine are okay so that means that Taz's kidneys are still working pretty good so we don't have to put him on uh, IV fluids, we can just use fluids under the skin. So let me show you how we uh, give a kidney an anesthetic, how we put a catheter in, and how we even uh, put a needle into the bladder to get a urine for a urinalysis to see if he's got crystals, which I know probably does. We already saw him in fact when he peed a little bit. So isn't he sweet? He's purring and rubbing against me. That's good old Taz. So what we're doing with Taz is we're going to give him some ketamine and Valium. And in cats, first of all, you have to restrain him a little bit by holding a scrub, but Taz is so nice a kitty. And then you, you find a vein on the back leg, and you inject with ketamine. How did I get sick anyway? I mean, once we put ketamine into the vein, usually kitties just relax real quickly. Look at how quick that works. So Taz is now totally relaxed. We put some ointment in the eyes so the eyes don't dry out during the procedure. They stay moistened because they just don't blink as much on ketamine, so their eyes will get moist, get dry. I'm going to put a turkey tube down the throat. Tie it in back so it stays in and then we hook, up, hook Taz up to some oxygen. Then we check to make sure it's, so Taz is all hooked up and on oxygen. It's been injected with the anesthetic and now he's on the gas anesthetic. And you can tell the, the trachea tube's in the right place because the bag's moving. It's really good. Well, what we do when we get a cystocentesis, and that's just to check for crystals in the urine and infection, we can, we can, cats, it's pretty easy to stick it right through the skin into the bladder. So I use a longer needle, and you can see my hand, um, I have the bladder cupped and I know right where it is and I can put the, the needle right into the bladder and I can draw out the urine. That's an easy way to get a urinalysis. And so now let's see if I can unblock his poor little urethra. So I'm going to put this little plastic catheter in the penis. It's sometimes hard to find the penis in a male cat. I mean not hard to find it but hard to put the, the, uh, urethra, the catheter down it. So we're going to put the catheter right up it. I have to pull out the penis in order to advance the catheter. So there's a little little spot in there that I can fill the, the crystals. So we put the catheter in now and now I'm going to flush it. Just flushing it to make sure I get all the crystals out of it. 
it's all going into the bladder so that's good now I'm going to take the syringe off and I'm going to push out all the see if I can get rid of the urine that's in the bladder the concentrated urine with the crystals in it and try to empty the bladder as much as I can So in order to keep the uh, keep it in place, I'm going to actually sew it right into the skin. I know that seems really gross, but that's how because otherwise the cat will just he'll just actually take it right out. So the catheter is securely sewed in so that Taz can't take it out. And believe me, animals will take it out if they can. And then you'll see how we hook it up to a sterile IV line and a bag so we can monitor the urine output. And it keeps the urinary tract sterile and, keep, and keeps the urine flowing out. And now Taz is waking up. Look at Taz. He's, he's trying, he says, oh my god, somebody put a cone on my head and I'm in a cage. So cats are recovering from ketamine. It's a slight, it's a hallucinogenic and it causes them to lose control and they just often kind of make um, uncoordinated movement. Let me see him. Taz is waking up, but he's recovered from anesthesia. Hi Taz, you seeing two of everything? Hi Taz. Yeah, yeah I know, I'm sorry you have a catheter in your penis. I know it. Well, it's awful uncomfortable probably, but it'll come out tomorrow and you'll pee and then you can go home. How's that sound? And then your the catheter is hooked up to a tube which is draining the urine here. And here's the urine in the bag is draining. You can see I hope you enjoyed kind of my video about That's how we treat unblocked cats. Signs of a block and kitty or a cat with urinary obstruction, obstruction can be a cat know, that cat repeatedly goes to the litter box and tries to pee but can't. I didn't. Um, I it also is just a cat that's sick and bloated. Cats can also have urinary infections and have the same signs. So if you're unsure, please take your cat in to get it checked out. Or you can try to feel it by putting your hand in the belly area and see if you feel a big orange or softball type swelling and that's a cat with urinary blockage. Cats with urinary blockage or urinary infection should eat moister food. Moister food has more water and helps flush out the kidneys and the bladder. Dry food causes concentrated urine with more calcium and phosphorus that causes crystals. So cats that have urinary problems should eat wet food. And believe me, um, if you have the choice, if you don't mind feeding wet food, wet food is better for cats overall because dry food often causes obesity and diabetes and urinary problems and bowel problems. So most cats do fine with dry food, but those that have any problems with gain in weight um, at all or occasional urinary problems should probably eat wet food. Your veterinarian may also prescribe prescription food uh, for cats with urinary problems as well as an antibiotic to clear up the infection. But the infection didn't come first. The infection came after the irritation. So I hope you enjoyed uh, the video and check out my website at dogdishdiet.com. Uh, Dog Dish Diet is now a Kindle, has a Kindle version and at mindbites.com if you search for feed your pet to avoid the vet you can see easy economical nutritional treats to help your dog stay healthier and happier and avoid chronic uh, medical problems like itchy skin, itchy ears and bowel problems and seizures and diarrhea. And I'm going to come out with a crockpot cookbook soon uh, and I'm going to include a section for cats because a lot of people want to know how to cook for their dogs and cats. So have a great day, have a happy holiday.